These past couple of days we've seen some hectic rugby league being played, particularly from the Melbourne Storm. Uh, not so much in this last game, although it was a pretty close game. Even though it was a close game, it was fairly scrappy. And the Bunnies were a shot right up until the final seconds of the game. But back to Melbourne, man, what a performance. I was saying in the preview that Melbourne was going to be a tough mountain to climb for the Raiders. I'm pretty sure everyone shared the same sentiments, especially after Canberra played their hearts out in the previous week and they just weren't in the match at all in my opinion. Pretty much all the standout players, particularly in the forward pack, were nowhere to be found. Um, a couple of questions were answered about players uh, like Papali and Tapani, if they would be able to carry this momentum over and have the same amount of influence, the same amount of impact in this game against Melbourne, but man, they made it difficult and the fortunes definitely favoured the well-rested rather than the team that was just in a war last week. With that being said, as for the game that just finished not too long ago for me, the Bunnies versus the Panthers, performance-wise, it was definitely pretty ordinary from both teams, but I think even more than that, the officiating was pretty horrendous, especially in that second half. He was gripping that whistle tight, I tell you, man. Hesitant to give away penalties, hesitant to give set restarts. As for the actual game itself, although rough around the edges, it was still very enjoyable. Man, uh, what was it? Adam Reynolds almost came up with a clutch 40-20, but his foot was on the line. That was in the dying minutes of the game. Both teams definitely had uh, opportunities to score more points than they did, but execution in the end was the biggest letdown, especially for the Bunnies. It has been throughout this uh, final series. I particularly enjoyed the, the battle in the middle of the field. Uh, the Panthers, I felt, dominated the middle. When defending, they always got their man to the ground, and it was always multiple Penrith defenders. I wouldn't say slowing down or crowding in the ruck, but there was plenty of both, and I thought the ref was quite lenient with infringements around the ruck. The biggest difference between the middles was, uh, was Penrith in possession. They fought for every quick play the ball, and for a majority, it felt like the Bunnies just couldn't keep up. The Panthers, in general, during the 17-game winning streak, that's kind of been their MO, it's ruck speed. No one can keep up with them. And not be Carousel playing off the back of that. Bruh, close the gate. He's definitely the buy of the season. Speaking of individual performances, I felt Dylan Edwards had a great game. Defensively under the high ball was perfect. Isaiah Yo with that game winning or game sealing try in the second half. That was that was such a good try. The battle between Cleary and Reynolds, that was hectic to watch. Both snipers with their, with their kicking game. What about Brian Toto, the unit? So hard to put down. His short, stocky type. Short, stocky type build, low center of gravity. Makes it a pain to try and get him to the ground. There was a period in the game where uh, Uppy Coruscant left the field. I thought Damian Cook would take over, but his sniping game around the ruck is it's nowhere near what it used to be. And it's strange because I thought with the rule changes that this game, uh, where the game is at today, it's definitely tailor-made for Damian Cook's style of play or at least what we're used to seeing from him, which we haven't really gotten from him this season. So yeah, much like the Canberra Raiders Ford pack, the Rabbitohs forward pack was definitely feeling it. Fatigue playing a huge role, obviously coupled with uh, the Panthers' speed around the ruck. The Bunnies actually did way better than what I was expecting. And like I said earlier, they were in it up until the final seconds of the match. So that brings us to the grand final. Who do I think will win? I'll definitely make a video before the week is over. But if you enjoyed that little, hmm, what would you even call this? I guess, uh, I don't know, an afterthought? Oh, maybe... <laughs> Maybe a review would do of the NRL Finals Week 3. Be sure to run it straight at that like button. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you. you, you. They envy me, not new. I'll do Pull up this wall and I'll later. Hoodie, rolling with an A, rolling with a boogie. boogie. A step to the 165, I'm right there center. Moses Sully. And they ain't never gonna get an Addy. Ain't no rookie. Hit this baddie like what's goody. Said he don't care. Got no fear. He's not scared.